Good day! Ow! Oh, it is a little bit croaky. Oh, mate, it's early. It's about eight in the morning. Oh, I think, uh, I think when, I, when I get up in the morning, I realise uh, maybe I should have took things a little bit easier last night. But there is the bus now going past that will take you to Erwin Waterfall, what you can catch in town. There's another one now coming. Right, the tourist map. Here, here you go. Right, here is the tourist map of the Kanchanaburi province and there are two main roads there is this main road and there is this main road now to get to Sankabui there <laughs> that's about 250 kilometers that's a long way now those two roads right the longest one is the 323 going to Sawyer Yak, which will take you to Hellfire Pass and it will eventually take you to the Free Pagodas and also the Mong Bridge, the longest wooden bridge in northern part of Thailand. <laughs> At the Mong Bridge. Not many people have been there and done vlogs and I want to get there myself. Now that is a long journey. And that is where you turn left at those traffic lights. But I today I'm going on the 3199 to go to the, the dam at the top, the Erwin Waterfall and the Priafet Cave. And there's loads and loads of tourist attractions on both these roads, 40 of them. And they're all sort of worth a visit, some bigger than some others. So I'm gonna go on this road. I'm actually gonna go to the end of where I've not been before, <laughs> just to see what I can bring you for today's vlog. Now. Uh, one thing that I will say, when you leave Bangkok and you travel 110 miles west of Bangkok to come to Chan Kanchanaburi, on that journey you will see nothing but built up areas, houses, businesses and industry until you come right through to Kanchanaburi and it is not until you get to this junction right here that the countryside begins. Yes, it changes dramatically from those traffic lights. It really does. It's, it's quite amazing the transformation from here to there. It's awesome. It's industry. It's jungle. Right then, let's see how far we can get before we have a breakdown. <laughs> okay, I have ridden past the 9th Army base camp. Also, Kro Chong Kal, and I am just before the 9th Army historical 9 Army battlefield, which is just up here. But what? This is what stopped me. Look at this. What, what the fudge is going on here? Little bit of development. This goes right down, man. Oh, there's a truck coming up. Will he get past? Probably not. There's nowhere near enough room for a Thai truck driver to get through there. Englishman will get three buses through there. Thai truck driver will make a, make a fuss. Oh, he might get through. A mess. But what is this place, man? All these little podiums. Are they going to be houses? Is it a graveyard? What is it? It's huge, man. It's massive. Huge, great complex. Big development here in Kanchanaburi. That sun is just starting to come through. Check out this guy's truck with his lights and his little Michelin men on the top there. <laughs> They're looking very good. And he's, cheers, buddy. He's probably taken rock. Now he's empty. I don't know if he was taking these great big rocks like this I'll show you when I go back I'll show you some I'll show you some rocks when I go back I mean these were all wicked granite granite I think mainly granite sandstone a mix of granite and sandstone oh, wow weren't expecting to see this no I wasn't but that is what I come out here for I've not been out here for about a year or so what a change. 
What a change, it's gonna be massive. I'll look forward to coming back one day to see what it, what it is. <sighs> a little way, a further along on my journey, I'm starting to wake up and the sun is coming out a little bit. It's a little bit chilly on the road, hence the thermal. But I have found <laughs> the mild dive heroin resort right here. You must have seen some vlogs, guys, of people staying on these floating barges right in the River Kwai. Well, you can do it right here. You can. That's why I pulled in, just so I can show. I've never actually stayed on any of these floating barges this far upstream, but um, oh, these look pretty cool. Girls in there, they're all just having their breakfast on the ship dining area. <laughs> And I'll have a little walk round. There's a little bit of music, but hopefully I'll be able to talk over it. As I'll take you on to these barges. And I just asked one of the ladies before I switched the camera on, and they are 1,000 baht per night. And they do have aircon, which is good to know. So there's someone having a little bit of noise there. So we'll just have a little walk. Looks like <laughs> walking the plank. Oh man, it's the outside kitchen, fridge. This looks really cool. Oh man, the bungalow's there. Two, soothing bit of music. Probably rent kayaks. There's a bit of a stage and platform as we look up the River Kwai, man. That way to Erwin, that's the way I'm going. Oh, it don't look too good, does it? But I've had to get out and about today. I just to make a vlog. Oh, I just wanted to get out and about on the bike because I quite enjoy it. Oh, it's awesome. Oh man, you can, you've got these little mats that you can run. Mm, it looks like a game. It looks like a weird game uh, that you're probably going to end up in the drink. But oh, it's just a nice little place, nice little resort. Along the River Kwai. <sighs> now I have seen other people. On the, I, I just have a little click through YouTube just to see what everybody else has done. So I'll try and... Um, I'll try and steer clear of it. So now I don't, and I, I, there's lots of vlogs I don't really want to do. I don't really want to stay on there just to make a vlog. It'd be boring. Um, <laughs> would. Didn't ask how good the internet was. But they do exist, these little places. All right, if you're with your girlfriend or your wife and you're on holiday. But for me as a YouTuber, I, I really do enjoy the noble night where I'm staying. As far as accommodation go and location and cost and comfort, that is near on perfect. If, if it is perfect, it's awesome. Oh man, I'm just getting a bit of a warm up. <sighs> right, on we go. Damn. Right here. Wow. I am at the top of the mountain. And the damn man looks awesome. I've not been, this is, uh, I'm on new ground guys, so I'm like, wee, I want to find, oh, oh, <laughs> I want to find a little bit of adventure, something new. There's a cool bridge there. I wonder if I could get to that. Oh man. But look at that. The Srin Ag Arind Dam. And a massive power generation centre there. Oh, it looks wicked. It looks wicked. Wow. Just gonna have a look at the dam, man. And I just saw a sandstone quarry right there, which I'll probably put some kind of camera on because I'd like to ride around the quarry. Quarry? The quarry, man. But that does look awesome. Difficult to see on this little camera. Ah, oh, man. Ah, and I just spotted, can you see that gold thing? Right up there, the little row of terraces and the houses, that gold thing, that's where I'm going to be heading uh, in a bit. So I am out having a bit of jungleism. Oh man, <laughs> a wicked spot. Looks awesome. Looks awesome. Right, let's go up there, let's go and have a closer look. Oh, I've got to put the camera on. We are coming to the damn crest. <laughs> it's awesome, man. Look at the pipeline. Wow! If you can see through there, we'll stop when that hopefully clears just here. And I hope it don't rain, because <laughs> these roads have been mega, mega slippery. Wow, man! Look at that! That's some proper, proper, these overhead cables, that's some power generation. 
Wow, the amount of concrete. Ha, ah, but we're not done yet because I believe, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I believe this road will take us to the top. So let's see how we go. Speed ramped. Bikes flat out, so you know we're going uphill because we ain't got no, we ain't got no guts. Ah oh, man, it is cool. I like a nice ride in the countryside. <laughs> wow, man, look at all that concrete to hold that wilderness back. Whoa, here we go, we're flat out. It's just a view down to my left is is awesome. Awesome. I've never been up here. I haven't. All the times I have been to Kanchanaburi, I have gone to the Erwin Waterfall so many times. Uh, today I decided to ride past. Oh, oh, yeah. I'll ride past that left-hand turn and which I will go back to in a little while. I just want to get on the crest and make the wind. I don't like heights, do I? And I, oh man, this is it. Oh, wicked. Wicked, let me just pull over here and have a minute, have a moment. Oh, let me, let me take account of where we're at. Oh, because oh. I don't like the heights. No, no, I don't, don't do heights, do I? Yeah, I'll get higher and higher and higher every day. So before I show you the power plant, let's have a look at the reservoir. It's massive, man. It is massive. It is. And there is actually, I don't know if there's an eruption there, but there is some big fish in this reservoir. There are. But you'd be some boy to catch them. Finding them. Loc locating them on a, on, a, on a reservoir that size. So let's go and look at the dam, man. And I will, I'll go along this little ridge walk. The sun is trying to get out. Oh man, which is cool. Look at that pipeline. Those pipes. Whew. Can you, oh mate, as I'm getting closer, I'm getting, ooh, ooh. Now I have the BFC with me, so I will take a couple of photographs and stick on the Facebook page. If you haven't found the Facebook page yet, it's rather easy. It's called Vlogging a Dead Horse, where I stick my pictures. Oh man, that is wicked. Wicked. So up somewhere up there, I don't know if I can go this way, if I can... Oh man, there is a road up there. Ah oh man, wicked. Let's go on the road. I'll take a couple of pictures. Oh man, I haven't put anything on Facebook for quite some time. I need to start uh, doing that, just keeping you guys informed to where I am. Photographs of what? What's going on? Right, be back in a sec. Ah, okay, I cannot go up that road. <laughs> cannot. So I've got to go all the way back round, which is fair enough. Fair enough, I suppose. But let's have a little look on the other side of the dam, man. That was just saw where the really big dam was, and here's where all the water come in along this channel. And then through them pipelines. 46 years! of the dam, man. <laughs> and there is this, uh, there's a cool area where you can go in. Here, we're sort of in the gardens here right now. And I now went to go up that road. I was a bit nervy to do so, but there is a stop sign. Uh, so I looked back and uh, <laughs> the security guy was like, oh, no, no, you can't go there, you can't go there. So I turned back. But it's a good job I stopped. I stopped to put the camera on. If I hadn't, no, I'd, have gone, I'd, have gone, I'd have gone where I shouldn't. Oh man. So it is a cool little spot. No drinking of alcohol. That is a really cool looking park. Right there. Oh man. Let's just do another quick look. Just here. It's a little shop there as well. 7 Eleven type shop. Mama and Papa shop, everyone calls them, if it's not 7 Eleven where you can get your beers 
out of normal drinking hours. Not bad little spot. It's not bad. Lutton Park, keeping the place watered, keeping it all green, man. <laughs> right, that was that little adventure, that little jaunt. Now I'm trying to think. <laughs> I want to go, I could see the granite works, uh, sorry, the sandstone um, oh, site, mining site, what would I call it? What would you call them places? Uh, uh, down there, so uh, I want to see if I can ride the bike around there, I might, I might fall off, might be a bit sick, but it'd be like, it'd be like being in a James Bond movie or something, wouldn't it? I might do that, I might not. We'll see when we get there in, in about a minute. Man, look, 42nd year at the dam. I think I said something else. So it's 42 years old, it's been here. And as we go back the other way, it's a mat uh, out of the rain, out of the rain, out of that fountain. Oh man, massive great village over there that I didn't see. Obviously, looking back, coming the other way and as I knit over there, I can see the sandstone <laughs> yard. But oh, it is a wicked place. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Glad I glad I made the little trip up here. It's really overcast, so I won't be flying the drone. I know it's a long way to come, but I did want to fly the drone. But I want I want really good drone uh, images, not dull ones. And there we are in the quarry. Sandstone looks like a mixture of sandstone slate. Now, there are dogs here, there's a load of rice been brought, look, and dumped. That's for the dogs. I think I can go up up there, uh, up that little. I don't know. I want to know, I want to see how I can get all that. Look at all this rocks, where it's sandstone. Look it, it's probably got slate, dolomite. Oh man, granite, all sorts in it. Wonderful, great big rocks. Wow. Oh, it did start to rain just a second ago. Beautiful colours, what a brilliant quarry. And I want to get on the quarry road because it goes up, up, up. Uh, there's no cutting gear here, so I don't know if. Oh man, a little squirrel running up there. I <laughs> wonder what that was. Oh man, so I don't. Oh, mate, as it's now disused, yeah, I think... Man. <laughs> I don't know if I can actually get up to go on the levels. But oh, wicked. Wicked. It did just start to rain. <laughs> and I was getting a little bit like, oh, man, I need that. Now, I can't get up that way. There's no way. Also, no photographs on the Facebook page, if you're still watching, uh, because I've got the BFC out. I went to take a really good picture. Camera said, no, battery's run out. I forgot to charge the SLR battery. Oh no, schoolboy error, I've got my drone batteries charged. <laughs> so yes, I, I think this was the way I kind of blocked it off so stop other people going in there More mining I reckon or quarrying it kind of looks that way oh, I don't know they just dumped a load of steel in there oh man oh man oh, so I can't ride her I was what I wanted to ride right up to the top it would have been cool it would have been oh, I cannot help myself man. I'm so bad I've not got snake boots on or nothing, but that looked like snake heaven. That looks like, and so does that. Does that not look like I'll put a nest there for a snake? Oh, man. I've got, I've got to see what's in there. I've got to see what all that rust is. That might be an old truck. Oh, mate, I don't know. I just don't. Look, oh, just don't want to see anything. Curl. <laughs> oh, it's proper Snake City. It is. So I'm looking to see if any of this is recognisable. 
No, that green thing. I don't know if it's a lampshade in there. I don't really want to go in. <sighs> Great big lump of metal. There's loads of it. There's a bit in there. That green tin thing there, I think there's a lampshade. But it's a no, bit of an RSJ. Yeah. Peaceful, isn't it? Peaceful. <laughs> oh, out and about. Seeing what's going on. Nothing better to do. Right. Let me just show you on the map, well I'm in here, where I have come. On the map there are 40 destinations and where I'm not going to go now, I am going to go, well we've seen one, the dam, which is number 34 on the tour guide. And on there, look, that's the little bit I'm working on. And I'm now, literally that's where I am around there where that reservoir is. So I'm now going to go past the Arrowin waterfall, where I may go and have some breakfast. And then I've got number 35, 36 and 37. Tourist attractions to see on that route, which I don't think I've seen before. Okay, beyond Arrowin, I have actually been, this is the road that you will come up, and I have actually been on this road, but it wasn't a road, no. Because I remember seeing this view of the dam where I've just been and this road uh, uh, but the view I had was slightly closer so I'm going to tell you a little story this road used to be a dirt track and 10 years ago none of what is around here was here here come Barry Sheen go on son go on <laughs> On a C90 crunch gear. That's it, yeah, going like the clapping. Yeah. I'd be doing just the same if I was on my little Lambretta. So anyway, 10 years ago, me and my buddy on this horrible little single dirt track. It was, it was about this wide. Uh, it, was, it was 10 years, maybe a little bit longer. We got to this point roughly and we looked down there and we realized we had 38 kilometers to go to get to the, the waterfall where I'm now heading. We both looked at each other on this gravel track, which was really rough, right, 10 years ago. And we were like, so that for a game of soldiers and went back. But this was the point that I actually got to. So it's really cool to see how it's changed. And I'm really glad that I can get to uh, one of the biggest wa single waterfalls here. Obviously, Everton Waterfall being a 17 waterfall is awesome. And I have vlogged about it already, just, just put it in my search engine. But, I may as girl on my bike. Why I've stopped at this very exact point, because you know that little gold thing I pointed out? That's it right there, look. <laughs> oh man, that is it. What it is, I do not know, but we'll go and find out. It might be abandoned. <laughs> oh mate, but one thing's for sure, I'm going in. I am. It's just there. Go and have a little look around there. I'm enjoying today, guys. Like I say, it's new ground for me. I love these little lilies. <laughs> On the ground, really cute lilies. Yeah, new ground for me. So it's new, new for you guys. I wouldn't have taken you here before. Very rarely. It's already kept. Do I get to see things in Thailand I haven't seen before? This is certainly one of them. He is tall. What about the scaffolding? <laughs> oh, mate. Oh, we've got to go and have a look. Is it abandoned? Lovely little, look at them little terracotta blocks. What is going on? Is it another abandoned temple? Have they given up on it? I don't know. It's nothing about the king. The king on his elephant. <laughs> oh man, and now the other kings, all the different, sorry, the different Buddhas. I get mixed up. You know I get things mixed up. Kings and Buddhas. Oh, mate, this guy's probably on his iPhone or his iPad right now, look. Don't know. 
Oh no. Oh man. <laughs> Wicked. Wicked. There's no one here. Except the dog. Look at that dog. He's got the wrong legs. Ah, oh, poor little fella. He's shying away. Look, I'm taking the Mickey. I shouldn't really take the Mickey out of him. But he should have long legs. He's got the wrong body. A mixed up dog. Oh man. Cool spot. And these were cool. I'd want, I'd want, if I had a council house, I'd want one of these each side of the door. I would. Just like that. Or that great big bit of rock. Man. Wow. This, oh, mate, all these coins been stuck in. I think this is all fossils. All fossils. Wow. Wow, man. Formed over the years. That is what you call a rock. There's no one here. It's abandoned. <laughs> Another Buddha at the back there. It's a cool spot. Very cool. Oh, wow. I like how, I think it's being restored. I don't know if like they've, like I say, they've brushed away all this to show the original terracotta brickwork or whether they're restoring it to make it finished like that. Don't know. Don't know. It won't fall on me head, is it? It's got it's got concrete water damage. And it is, it's going rusty. So maybe it is abandoned, guys. Wow. Wow, wow. Look at that in there. <laughs> wow, the glitz and the glamour. Wow. I don't think there's a light on. Man. Hardwood window frames. I don't think it is abandoned. I don't. Ooh. <laughs> Their legs look alright. That's the Dino one you've got to look for. Look, them two. Oh, it's locked. Okay. Oh, mate, the stuff in there. Wow. Awesome amount of stuff. There's definitely people here. Oh, I, I, I really want to go in. Oh, that poor old dog is leap, limping. Um, a little fat wolf. Don't you start. We'll keep your eye on him. But don't like the vlogging stick. Now, this looks like well, there's a bit of work being done. What size of it, though? <laughs> Way. Get. You gotta keep an eye on them, man. Don't let them. Don't show them any fear at all. You you, you gotta rinse the dogs, mate. Attack them if you have to, to save yourself. But look, this is what it's all on the inside. All this mirror, and you're doing plaster work. It's probably. <laughs> oh, as much as I'd like to go in, don't want to upset. <laughs> Definitely don't want to upset the monks, man. No, I don't. There's a ladder. I'm not going up there. Right. Let's go and see if we can actually see some of these tourist attractions. I think the first one, there's only two more for me to look at. The first one's a cave. I don't know what I want to go and see a cave for, but I do. I want to go and see a cave. I don't know if it's going to be a big cave, little cave, middle-sized cave, or, or what. Oh, man, that's wicked. That's pretty cool. I like that. Oh man, there's loads more work to be done on top of that. It's basic. There's, oh man, I could do with them glass squares. Oh man. Oh man, but all the carvings, look at this, it's beautiful. Carvings of the heads. I've seen it on many temples. I like them when they're all done raw, like this, without before they're all painted. Oh man, there's a few stories to be told there. Wicked. Right, so a cave, and then that big old waterfall um, that I've never actually seen with my own eyes. Oh, and that's the three-headed elephant. Oh, it is. Yeah, a bit of Hindu. A bit of Hindu with the Buddhism going on. <sighs> Almost got caught with my chin strap done up. Oh, ho, ho, ho. God. So, <laughs> here I am. <laughs> Turning left to go to the Prat Fat Cave. One click that way. And then I'm coming back to do the High May Kamen Waterfall up there. 
Good day. Now cows having to feed. It's a wicked road, spectacular views at the reservoir. Oh yeah. We'll see. One kilometer up here. It's getting cold. It's probably, probably going to rain. But I'm out and about all day. I've got my waterproof with me. Not that that's going to help. It'll keep me dry. I've got my goggles on my hat, which came in really useful last night. Because round about when the sun sets, round about six ish, half six, and the light starts to dim, you get all the bugs and flies uh, in, in the ear. So having to put my little glass Spitfire goggles on. Oh, it was wicked, that means I could ride the bike pretty quick where everybody I was overtaking on the bikes were all like this. Weapon stuff going really slow and I had to laugh. The goggles came into their own. Oh, man, guy cook cleaning up. Ah, more coconuts have been falling. Beware, coconuts do fall from trees. Hence, the helmet. Man, great big apples. <laughs> I'm going to have a crash or run into something. I am, it's more. I don't know, I'll show the apple tree. I wonder if I can have an apple when I come back. I like a bit of scrumping. Yeah, I do. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful countryside. Banana trees to my left. My little banana trees, but they are, they've got, they've got to start. There you go, that's what I thought would happen. We'd go steamrolling into a truck. <laughs> oh man, wicked gardens. Love how the landscaping is uh, in this area. All through the national parks, the area in the land, the landscaping is awesome. It really is. Speed ramp. <laughs> oh man, look at it. I know you can see all the blue pipeline and for all the irrigation for these guys to grow their bananas and whatever else they're growing. Oh, mate, it's wicked, another speed run. The bamboo, man! That is bamboo, that is dead bamboo, but that is... That's giant bamboo, look at the size of it. <laughs> the size of that bamboo! Old bamboo, old bamboo, da 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 da, what are you old bamboo? Oh, mate, I'm shouting, I'm, sh I'm having fun. Look at it, it is so thick, so strong, it is wicked. You can't even burn it, look, it's that thick. What a wicked little forest. <laughs> that is mega, 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 mega big bamboo. Just a pothole. <laughs> I still haven't had any breakfast yet, but um, I am. I, I don't often eat straight away in the morning. Well, that's a cat. I wondered what that was running away. Little white cat. Welcome to Pratat Cave. Cave headquarters parking. I ain't got a mission. I ain't got to walk miles. Oh no, nice pond. Well, we're here, oh, mate. Let's go and have a little look at the cave, man. Oh, it's a little fishing pond right there. Hello, dog. Approaching. He's got a little collar on. So you're all right, mate. You're all right. You're good. Are you sure? He's not too sure. <laughs> oh man, they've got solar panels, which is good. Joint research project on a. Photovoltaic, you following me? Power generation for battery charging station in Thailand. Okay, that is, I've got solar panels there. You all right, mate? You got to come with me? No, all right, dog. Let's go and have a look. Man, this little fishing pond it looks like a fishy pond. Looks like you can buy and buy stuff there. Oh, are they chilies? Ooh, ooh, are they chilies? That's some kind of crustacean animal. 
don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Spotty Cap. Are you good? It's okay? Spotty? Yeah. Cap on. Oh, lovely little view and place here. Oh man, that is a lovely looking lake. Oh man, it is. Nice little spot, you can sit and have a beer. Oh man, loads of fish. Oh, here and there. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. He's got his jet ski. <laughs> it could probably go up that way out to the river. Man, we have a little, little pink house there, look. That is cool. Cool. I don't know if you can rent a room here. Sweaty cap. Don't know. Don't know. Tables, chair. Don't know. <laughs> Let's go and see. How dog is looking all right, look. He's looking all proud. Oh, he's good. He looks like an Albanian. Albanian. Albino dog. Oh. What are you coming with us, mate? Come on, then. Uh, right. Ah, eight in the morning till six. It's pointing up there. Ah, don't tell me that's closed. Information, I think that lady's shouting me. Okay, I'm going up here. There's a lady over there. <laughs> if it's, I think it's all closed. Hello over there. Oh, I've got to go to the lady over there with the small child in the cage. <laughs> you know, I hate these places, right? Little tourist traps. You've got to go, all oh, right, you've got to go walk around here. Now you've got to walk past all the shops as you come out. <laughs> I just hate it. I do, I just don't like it. Oh, 600 metres up. Okay, Forest Protection Unit. No. You pay a How much is a ticket? Three hundred. Yeah. Hello. Have a good day. <laughs> Three hundred baht. Let's go for a six hundred metre walk up a cave. Well, guys, you can put that into your search engine and see if you'd pay. There's no one paying three hundred baht to go into a cave. That's why there's no one here. <laughs> and it's well out on a limb to come to, which is what I say. That's why I make these journeys, do these vlogs, so you guys don't have to waste your time when you come on holiday and you've got precious little time. Where you, one thing you don't want is to get mugged off. Oh man, 300 baht. Oh, that poor old dog. I knew it was sort of a national park looking like a thing. I think they've made. Um, I like, I like mateys. Look, wow, he's got a shop. Look at him, look, poor old boy. You all right? You all right, dog? You'll be careful. He look like a poor old door. You gotta be. Ah, oh, you all right, mate? You are. Yeah, good lad. You have a good day. Poor old fella. He ain't got, ain't got any life left in him. <sighs> okay. Oh, let's go. <clears throat> let's get back on the main road. I still got about thirty odd clicks to go to get to that waterfall, which could be a washout. Don't know, it'll definitely be too. Oh, mate, I don't know. Uh, hopefully, we will see it. I think I made it, Whew. but <laughs> there's going to be a charge because it's a national park right here. The Quan, uh, whatever national park, Thailand. Oh, there is someone in the office. Ah oh, man, it is. It's 300 and 20 baht for the motorbike. Wow, I've come so far. <laughs> oh, look at this. We're going to see tigers crossing the river. You have tigers in there? Okay, let me pull forward. 300. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. Whoa. Okay. Thai person's free, by the way. 
one kilometer we have to turn left there's a visitor center there's some headquarters and there's a restaurant 320 bar I feel put out I do hopefully I've got enough petrol to get back to Arrowhead where the petrol stations are today's oh to my destination is 110 kilometers. Oh, is that the way? Now that's the half use off door mountain uh, meeting room. It's not looking good. It's actually looking like there's a storm I'm not gonna ride into. sudden which usually tells me oh I didn't want to see that and I say beware of snakes on a sign usually when the wind picks up five minutes later the rain come there's deer as well all right look out look out for the deer we're going up here look Okay, this should be us. Oh, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Information ticket check, please. I don't have. have you want ticket? No, I don't have. Have. Oh, man. <laughs> They're in my pocket. I like to wind them up, I do. Here we go. Here we go, darling. The car in front is trying, it's been trying to get in, the car behind has been trying to get in front for some time. They don't like waiting. Come on, darling, can I come in? Sweaty cap. I, I drop it, is that it? I drop, is that it? Ticket, I drop it. Give me the right ticket. Park moped and then walk. That way, okay. <laughs> okay. Whew. I'll put the motorbike in the parking zone. You guys know I hate all these little tourist traps, right? But this is it. This is the last one for the day. I've got a big old journey back home. Ah oh man, so this guy and see what this waterfall is actually like. I'm hoping it's gonna be impressive. And as it's rainy season, I'm hoping it's gonna have some water. Wow. I thought there was just one fall here. There's not. There's seven. Seven different tiers to this waterfall. Oh man. Oh man. Well, I'm going in. I I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah, the arrow, the first four are this way. Now, there is a sign telling you what not to do. Don't climb rocky underwater. Do not dive, don't jump. Do not write, ah, oh, that's it, or danger to signs, that's a pain. Do not feel the wild, do not feed the wildlife. And gathering of fauna is not allowed. And do not bring any alcohol. I told you what, what that's all about. And as you can see, it's a beautiful, you can camp here, right? And over there, that's the that's the that's that's the reservoir. What the the dam dams it is, and it looks uh, when you're on the road, it's really cool. And as you can see, there's a viewing point over there. Now I can hear Walter. What a wonderful tree! <laughs> oh, it looks awesome. Oh, I'm really disappointed that the SLR and the batteries give up. This is superb. Look at this. Oh man! Wow! Wow! <laughs> Look 
there truly is a spectacular waterfall. Oh, it really is. So if the first four tiers are this way, then I've got to walk all the way back up for the next three, which is fair enough. Oh, man, they are superb. That's really cool. Really cool. So even though it's a, it's a long way out, oh, this is tier four. This one, there you go. Even though they're a long way out, oh, it's well worth the journey. Oh, it is. Yeah, it is. And I hate to say it, yeah, 300 baht as well. It's, it's, it's worth it, it's worth the effort. I'm happy because I'm somewhere that I've not been before. Seeing something I've not seen before. And it makes a change from all the times I've visited Erwin. But Erwin Waterfall. Oh man, cool. So we are, we're going all. <laughs> no soap or shampoo allowed. Oh man, opens at 6.30 to 7 till 5 p.m. We're going down the rickety steps. Oh, okay. Now unless I fall over, I'll see you at the bottom. <laughs> oh, I love a sign telling me what to do. Look, go to waterfall floor three. I, I want to go here. <laughs> this is a derelict. <laughs> This bit, oh man, look, look, bad. Oh, you gotta be careful, right? It's, 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 it's not about the danger of this collapsing on me. No. <laughs> it's more of the danger of where you put your hands and grab hold of. You just don't know. Now this may collapse, it may fall. It's, it's certainly rickety and, and roped off from the tourists. But you know what? Oh, I've got to get you guys images you wouldn't normally see. <laughs> like that one. <gasps> like this. I thought I saw something move. Man. Whoa. <laughs> I don't want to get freaky deaky. I do know. If I see bits of, of, of the floor moving. Oh man, it freaks me out. Does. So it's where I'm walking to. Whoa. Oh man. What a wicked, wicked waterfall. I thought I saw bits on the floor moving there. It is, it's wicked, it is wicked, it's beautiful. I recommend it. Oh, it looks like you can walk, there's a sign there, so I may be able to walk around the other side. But we're just on a part here that perhaps you used to be able to walk but cannot no longer. Oh man, the roots are superb. Wicked. Sound. <laughs> I love the sound. And when they're gonna walk, oh man, look, look at that, that's Petra, that is. That color is stagnant little pool. We're now going to walk. No, I'm not going to walk back and then I'll get round to that podium round there. Oh man. Ooh, we're at the bottom. Wow, oh, man. <laughs> that is proper. Wicked. You see how this has all moved about over the years with the trees are losing their roots, roots getting washed away and making new waterway. I think that's a, is that a, is that a walkway. That's a bit weird. They don't want you going on them steps I just walked, but it looks like they want you to walk a plank. How bizarre. Is that part of the trek? Right there. Well, it will be in a minute. I'll see, I want to see what's down here first, and then we'll walk back up. Wicked spot. Whoa. Whoa. Look 
cool place. Right. <laughs> Don't speed things up a bit. Yeah, it's going to be one of them long vlogs, people. Wear your life jacket. Life jacket and no smoking. Oh, man, it's nice walking in the jungle. But it is. It's really nice. <laughs> wow. Oh, man. Every bit. Oh, it's better than heroin. I, well, I, you can go in there, you can swim. Why I would say it's better, uh, it's only better because there's no one here. Heroin gets really busy, gets proper packed. It does. And heroin also is a lot of climbing. You're literally going three kilometers and you're going three kilometers uphill. And then you've got to come back again. Here it's kind of more sort of level. It's wicked, man. Oh, you've got these little fruits. I think they're fruits. <laughs> I ain't going to try them. No. I am not. There used to be a walkway here. Steps all along here for right now walking. But I guess when the rain gets really big, it's probably washed them all away. Because this is quite... This would be part of the waterfall in proper rainy, rainy, rainy season. Oh, no. <laughs> it is just superb. I'm looking at all these little tears, and I think this may be the end of the road or where it goes down to. Levels out. Please always hold the rail. Now, there, I never hold the rail <laughs> because bees make their nests on these metal rails, right? And you can be going along, and the next thing you know, you've uh, disrupted a bee's nest. And then you're in a whole different world of chaos, man. So now, take my advice, do not grab the rails. Just be well balanced. Walk down the stairs at your leisure. Now look at this bamboo, man. <laughs> it is absolutely huge. It's massive. Right, there's a spider there. Look. Massive ants nest right there, right? You just got to be careful. They also could be on those railings and they'll be climbing up your arms and all sorts of, you know, mate, you've got a real problem on your hands just because you grabbed hold of whatever. Oh, man. Right, it is really cool. You can see it's been a bit of logging. Done. <laughs> bit slippery. But it's so nice and it looks like it goes on a bit more. So guys, with regards to the length of my vlogs, they are what they are. <laughs> they run the course. Wow, the trees. They literally are what they are. It's two or three meters deep. If you jump in there, make sure you can swim. Oh, man. Yeah, so if they come out quite short, they come out quite short, but the day is obviously a long vlog. It's a bit of a long day. And I'm trying to get, oh man, a bit covered. Wow. Oh, it's really cool. I'm liking this area. I'm, well, I'm liking it. <laughs> ah. <laughs> you can paddle in these pools as well. There's no one about. No one. Digging some footings in. But maybe another footpath. There's no one about. How oh, cool. Oh well, wow, we've got a lot more. A lot more to go down to. Wow. Wicked. Yeah, I'm going that way. Woo, woo, woo. Wicked, yes. 
They are building, what a wicked, look, elephant tree. They're wicked. And they are, they're building a new walkway. It just looks really good. <laughs> ah, now I've got to keep this, I've got to speed things up. <laughs> because I've left my batteries in the boot of the horse. Ah, but I do have my drone with me today, as I've said. Now this is a new path that build, isn't it? I'm doing it properly, concrete. Concrete stumps were proper cemented in. All right. Well, they get, now that's concrete, I thought they'd used the odd wooden one. <sighs> so yes, we should have brought the drone down here because there's no one about. It's a national park, drones are banned, but if there's no one about, I reckon I could have had a sneaky drone flight around here. Bit of an obstacle course, but that's what I like. Oh, I mean, little fish. <laughs> and we're going on. We're going to walk to the end. Plus, like I want to climb right back up. I've got, I've got extra batteries in the horse. There's none in my pocket. And I can see. Oh man, a huge shawl of fish there. Oh man. It's the butterflies. Watch them fly. They like butter. Ah, oh, and you see the shawl of fish. Right in the midstream. Oh, it's proper. Oh, look at them. Butterflies. It's like being in a national nature reserve. Where's the fish? There, look, little, you see it. Shoal of fish right in the middle there. A little, little shoal there. Beautiful, man. Enjoying myself, guys. Yeah, I am. <laughs> Alright, I better stick to the path. I am, I'm enjoying myself. Now are these guys all in the shade there having a bit of lunch? I don't know. <laughs> it's wicked. Oh, it's awesome. Go and have a little stream. That walk, you could probably drink that water. I will not be drinking it, no. Now I've had a little bit of parasite water already. <laughs> it don't suit. No, it's not really for me. But now the workmen aren't here. Where are the workmen? That's a pretty decent steel frame they're building, look. Proper, built to last. Cool. Well, I think I've got, looking at the battery, this is about as far as I can go downstream. But you can see this is, um, otherwise it gets a bit complicated for me to walk along here. <laughs> Oh man, but it looks like it goes deeper and deeper and deeper. I reckon it goes all the way to the reservoir. Yeah, I do. Oh, oh hang on. <laughs> Sound, the power of water. Beautiful jungle. Right, I can go a little further. Uh, <laughs> Just didn't want to be walking up there with no hands to balance, you know. But as long as I can walk around, find a way, not seeing too much earth move, then I'll be all right. Oh man, crystal clear. Stagnant mm, pool, almost stagnant. I expect to see a monster or two. That would be awesome to see a monster fish or, or anything that was scared of the jeebus out of me. Oh man. It does go on and on and on. Super. And as always, <laughs> oh, it's easier said than done. Eh? I want to see what's at the end. Oh, this is cool. I thought you might. You can get a boat, oh hang on, boat tie up. I thought that said boat trip. Camping zone, waterfall one, left. Okay, that's the power station you can hear. Uh, that will be pumping all this water right up to the top. That is, that's the power station and the pump. Pumping all this water from the bottom pools right up to the top. So whenever you come, there's always water. Wow. 
wicked. So this is all the new wood they've used. Feels really good. Walking across here. Oh man. Stagnant pools. <laughs> and I like I said, I just want to see where it ends. Camp. Oh. Well, you know, now I, I don't know if I really do want to see if it ends. It ends somewhere down there. Right. I've got to walk all the way back up. Ooh, all right, just back at this spot. The sun did come out. It did look awesome, but it's gone back in. Bye. Uh -huh. I am walking the plank. <laughs> just for you guys. <laughs> you know, hope. I fall in. <sighs> Didn't happen. Wicked. Right. Wow. Just want to have a little look around this bit before. Oh man, a wicked cut. I'm surprised no one's selling you a tour ticket for that cave. <laughs> it's probably as big as what the cave was <laughs> before I got here. You just don't know. Did have a, they did have a picture of the cave with a man just about inside it. That is awesome. Cool, eh? Oh, <laughs> Takes it out of you. I must admit, one is a bit sweaty. Betty, I am. <sighs> Tired. Oh, my pants are starting to get a bit sweaty. Whoa. What is that? A green monster? I don't know. We are going on this ominous trek right here <laughs> just to get a selfie of right here. I'll make sure the earth not moving. A wonderful area look it's just superb and you could walk round and go up across there Whoa, and there's a little bench up there awesome right I'm holding under a tree. Uh, moves a little bit too much. Okay. Let's get to the top. Alright, I'm on my ascent. I can hear the bamboo crackling. Or is it rain? I ain't got my coat with me. I'm still in the horse. I've got my extra battery and I am off to tiers five, six, seven, which I believe is this way. There's not a sign, but there's this, which is a nature trail. <sighs> I can only assume that's a different route, but it's over a kilometer. It is 1,056 meters, I think, to my next tier. Will I get there? There's a strong possibility I may not. I may be running back, because as I looked across, well, when I went back to the horse, and I looked across that great big reservoir, and oh, it don't look good. Uh, it is raining in what I can only assume is Miramar on the other side. Uh, Burma, I can only assume that, I don't know. Uh, it's just a wild guess, you know, based on location. I really don't want to get hot in the rain. When the rain comes, these showers, they last, they're heavy, and they last for about an hour. So I don't want to get stuck here for an hour. Now I want to get on the road, I want to get tracking. All oh, right, there's a sign. No, it's just talking about the trail. What have we got down there? <laughs> I don't know, a dried up hole. Uh, okay. So I will carry on. Look at all this smashed up bamboo. Man, it is wicked. It is, it is. It's a really good walk as well. Right, and I am sweating. I did start to wilt. So I still have, haven't had any breakfast. I will grab some water. I've got some electrolyte sachets with me. So I'll do that before I get on the bike and go back. 
put my big coat on. <sighs> but at the moment, we've got these little paths going off there. I'm like, I really don't know. I'd like to see a sign. <laughs> oh, man. I could make, I say, with a size of these, look. That is it. I could make a Buddha bong. That's two foot long. Could do. That's full of water. Bamboo. Could make something with a giant bamboo. Oh man, and it's getting dark. Mm. I want to sneak up on a herd of tiny little yellow butterflies. Let's see if you can spot them as I now try to get as close as I can. Oh, oh. Now they will reform. <laughs> oh, go on, sit down in your little herd. No. Oh. Anyway, I believe I'm on the right track. As there is water at the side of me. Yeah. Hello, the lovely little yellow butterfly. It's wicked when they all sit down together. No, it is, but as soon as I hear a vibration in the ground, they're gone because they don't want to get eaten. <laughs> and big old elephant feet here. Yeah? It's nice. It's a nice walk. So the sun just come out for a little while, which is a good sign. I'm still walking. But it is, it's, oh man, a huge amount of butterflies. They are awesome. Can I get, ah. Oh. No, they won't sit still long enough. <laughs> of course they won't. They're butterflies. Beautiful. Well, it looks like we're getting to something. Opening up in the sun. Beautiful. Oh, man. Nice. <laughs> I think we start to go up. Uh, pretty soon, I think. I don't know. It is. It's just wicked. Butterflies everywhere. No people about. It's just awesome. Really good. Like I say, it is well out of its way and out on a limb, 40 kilometers past Erwin. And Erwin is proper set up for tourists with loads of restaurants, buggies, and carts, so you don't have to walk. All kinds of stuff, man. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, so waterfall in the distance, really. So, what are you doing with your day to day? Well, I having a little walk along the jungle, a little walk along the jungle. No, I'm not going to walk that plank, oh, even though the water's really shallow. Oh, man. Looks nice, really nice. I've got the place to myself. Cool. So cool. Also, <laughs> something move. Wait. How superb is that? You could build something like that in your garden. You could, quite easily. Just need a load of cement and a load of rocks and some trees and a bit of, a bit of water. Oh man, but that is superb. It's really good. Join me, day. I think this is, I'm not sure if it's level five or level six. I say it goes up to seven. Oh, that's nice. Ooh.
Whoa! <laughs> lovely, lovely bit of waterfall. I think. Ah! Ah! Disturb them butterflies. I think this is the way, but. <laughs> It's a bit ominous. Is it the way? Whoa! Oh, well, there's a bit of water that way, but it looks like it swings. <laughs> ah, that ain't touching nothing. Oh man! Right. <laughs> we are in. Ah. The jungle, for sure. There's no tourist signs here. Maybe I've reached the top. Maybe this is the top. I can't really seem to go anywhere else. I cannot. Oh, you know what? That's actually disappointing. I thought I was going to see a couple more big tiered waterfalls. Hmm, I may have got it wrong, may have took a wrong turn in, it may have been that trail road. <sighs> of which of course I really want to walk all the way back and round. Oh man. Right. <sighs> Look I'll go down here. It's all right going up. Right, that is it guys I think. Unfortunately, so we come to the end of the road. I feel disappointed. However, we're only halfway through this vlog, you know. I've got a journey back to do, yeah? <laughs> we'll make this a, a two and a half hour vlog. Nah, you're all right. I'm just joking. I'm kidding, guys, I'm kidding. <laughs> you are not only halfway through. As you will see, you're somewhat near the end, as I am. Because now, it's far too early for at the end, and yesterday, I had a happy ending at 1.30, right? I went, and, I went and did me work, I came back. It was half one, I had a beer, bifter. That was me. Um, that was it, that was my day. It was done. And I had a poor sleep last night. So, I'm not having an early beer and bifter today, no. That's why I've come out on a long journey to make a long day out of it. Before, oh man, massive <laughs> ant's nest. Great huge mound right there. No, not getting you any closer through there. I wonder if you can see it. Great big brown hump. Sure, it's an ant's nest. Whew. And as you can see, I, one is wilted. And I've got a long journey home. 110 kilometers to get back. Missed him. Kingfisher, man. Oh, hang on. No, that's, that's another bird. Not quite so blue or turquoise or green even. <sighs> bird watching. Oh, Three thirsty. And I made it back home to my apartment. I did come through two, two two what would i call them not storms but showers uh, a little bit heavy we got through them we got wet we got dried off and the jacket is waterproof hey a waterproof jacket that is actually waterproof oh man that's a first for me it really is oh man i'm looking for the kingfisher thai kingfishers are awesome that really are they're a bit beautiful man 
<sighs> so I made it back. Utterly and totally exhausted. I really am. Oh man. Now what was, I don't know if I was going to say something or did I have anything to say or, or not. Don't know. I think the vlog has gone on long enough, right? <laughs> it's one of them long ones, isn't it? You get a long one every now and then. And you know what that does for all you people who are really good and watch my vlogs to the end? I really do respect you for that. I really do. All of them. Especially you, Nicky Dunn, Stephen S and Stephen L. I really do. I appreciate all your support. Cool, man. So there you go. Shot out for you guys. <laughs> I, bet that, I bet you fell off your seat. Oh, wicked. And I, I love it that you always watch the end and you never skip the advertisements. So that's really good. That's really good. And it is so helpful. So that's what keeps me in the game. It is. Right then. You know what? I'm all swell. I could do I feel mingy. I feel like I could do with another shower. I feel all sweaty and that. I've had a hard day. I've had a big old slog and a walk. Big old vlog and a walk and a talk all day. Nah, it's free thirsty. I've got two vlogs I'd like to make in here. I've got loads of things I'd like to do, but you know what? I don't know if I'm going to get the time to do them. I'm really not. I came here to make... Hang on. I am running on. <laughs> Perhaps I could squeeze another ad in. Aha! I shan't run on. I came here to make a film and a drone film, but the weather's not right and... Uh, 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 uh. So I'll have to come back again sometime. So guys, I really do thank you for watching right to the end. Big thanks and a big cheers. And until next time, au revoir.